you know, this was not a decision that I took um, lightly. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot of research into all the candidates. Uh, we have Elizabeth Warren, who, you know, is the senator from Massachusetts, and she likes to drink beer with her husband. And, you know, she seems like a nice woman. Um, and then, of course, um, <clears throat> you know, we've got um, Buttigieg, who, you know, seems like a very nice guy. You can see it in his eyes. He's a very, you know, nice, well-mannered guy. And, um, <clears throat> you know, Bernie Sanders. And I, I, I like Bernie Sanders a lot. Um, you know, he's, he, he reminds me a little bit of um, the guy in Whole Foods that's always um, screaming about the GMOs and stuff. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I, I, I decided that I'm going with um, Mayor Michael Bloomberg, um, who I'm endorsing to be president of you know, the United States. Um, <clears throat> you know, he was my mayor. I mean, who better to lead um, the country than, than the former mayor, my mayor? You know, he, he, he was my mayor when I was in New York City. And, and you know, I, I, what the biggest reason why I like Mayor Bloomberg is because not only does he understand um, the issues that you know we're all facing as a country, especially the New Yorkers, um, he he sounds a lot like me. And you know, when it's very complimentary when you can have a, a candidate running for the the president of the United States that sounds like you. I mean, it's it's it, they say imitation is the highest form of flattery. And I, I truly, <clears throat> and by the way, um, Bloomberg also does have a um, <clears throat> um, um, phlegm and, and nasal sinus issues, which is something near and dear to my heart. <clears throat> but, you know, it's, they say imitation is the highest form of flattery. And what better way to imitate someone than the person who's running for the president of the United States? I'm so honored that Bloomberg is going to be run, is running, and, and I think he's got a great chance to win the Democratic nomination and, and you know, it's going to be like, it's going to sound like I'm president. If he wins the nomination, it's going to be like um, Woody Allen's voice in the Oval Office. And, and that's something that, um, you know, I've always, you know, thought would be a great thing for our country. So, um, you know, um, I'm looking forward to um, President Bloomberg and, and hopefully my endorsement has some weight. <clears throat> Thank you.